I'm Brittany Robertson, your host through one of my favorite places in the world, Scott County, Virginia. When you travel across Scott County through Southwest Virginia, you are gonna find small town America at its best. From great places to eat and drink, to cool places that you're gonna love, we want you to come along with us as we eat, drink, and love in the heart of Appalachia. Also, be sure you stop at the Love Works sign at the entrance to Gate City so that you can pick up a visitor's guide and a map to help get you around Scott County. Welcome to Scott County! If you're looking for something sweet in Gate City, Virginia, make sure you check out the Family Bakery. From award-winning coffee, pastries, delicious lunch, and of course, cupcakes, this is one you don't want to miss. I'm sitting here with Cotton Roberts, owner of the Family Bakery, a Gate City staple since 2009. So what is it about being in this community that you love? Well, we just love it because it's, uh, it's family. And uh, I told her we need to come up with a name and the, the name that she came up with was Family Bakery because it's not only your personal family, it's your extended family, it's your church family, it's a community family. So I hear that you all have a few awards under your belt. Is it true that you have the best cupcake in the state of Virginia? Yes, we've actually won two awards. And those awards, one of them was with the uh, Virginia uh, Tourism, and the other one was with a, another company uh, that was doing a promotional thing uh, for sweets. And we, we actually won both of them. That's awesome. So these look amazing. So tell me about what's on this plate. The cake is a pumpkin spice. Ooh. It's cream cheese icing on top and a spice cake on the bottom and a little pumpkin on the top for decoration. The other item is a cannoli. Uh, we started doing those probably about a year ago uh, and they're a big selling item. Well, thank you so much for having us at the bakery. Well, we're tickled to have you with us today. You've got to try some of these. No matter the season, historic downtown Gate City hosts family-friendly events all year long, including the Harvest Moon Festival that takes place every fall. They've got tons of regional vendors, arts, crafts, music, dancing, food, and of course kids activities that set the scene for a day full of family-friendly fun. I'm here right now with my friend Leslie, owner of Southern Collective in downtown Gate City. She's also a volunteer with Gate City Frontier. So Leslie, can you tell me a little bit about what's going on here today? Yeah, absolutely. So today in downtown historic Gate City, we are currently having our Harvest Moon celebration. Um, we've had a market today from 11 to 4. We've had over 30 craft vendors, artisan, bread makers, woodworkers, just amazing um, businesses, small businesses. We are all about wanting to support local here in Gate City and we truly want to become Southwest Virginia's shopping destination. So this is our first step towards really making that a reality. Sure. So Leslie, what are some of the goals of the town of Gate City? Well, our main goal is that we want to be known as small town America at its best. Music is such a huge part of our community and Gate City hosts popular live music events throughout the year, just like Tri-Cities Jazz Orchestra tonight. Whatever you're hungry for, you cannot go wrong with Campus Diner. They've got breakfast, lunch, dinner, and daily specials. It is country cooking at its finest, all served up in a small town diner. I've got Pat Elliott here, owner of the Gate City Staple, the Campus Diner. So Pat, how long has Campus been in business here? Uh, it was opened in 1955 by the Darty family. They ran it for many, many years, and my wife and I have had it for the last five. Okay. And we hope to have it for many, many more years to come. Yeah. 
So one of the things I feel like you all are known for are your specials. Tell me some of your like customer favorite specials. Um, Monday's meatloaf. Uh, definitely, it's a uh, it's a sellout every week. Um, whitefish on Thursdays and hamburger steaks on Saturdays. So Pat, tell me a little bit about the atmosphere here. It's a uh, it's an American diner. Um, we have the regulars, we got locals, we've got people coming from surrounding counties, um, and they all come in and sit down. And it may be their first time, but before they leave. We like to talk to them and find out a little bit about them and, and make them feel at home because that's what we want. So Pat, tell me what keeps you coming back here every day. Uh, well, it's definitely the people. I'm a people person. I love talking to the customers, seeing if there's anything I can do to make their visit a little more special, um, seeing if there's anything they need, and hopefully brighten them up a little bit. Pat, thank you so much for inviting us in to get to see the restaurant, but I'm going to be honest with you. Right now, all I want to do is dig in. Well, I appreciate you coming and just jump right in there. Pungo Farms in Nicholsville offers fun for the whole family. They've got a scarecrow garden, a corn maze, fall decor, mums, and of course, pumpkins. So make sure you come check them out and pick up the perfect pumpkin for your porch. I'm here with Amanda Johnson of Pungo Farms. Amanda and her husband PJ just recently opened up their family farm to the public. So Amanda, what kinds of things can people expect to experience at Pungo Farms? They can experience a whole family fun farm experience. And we have a corn maze, we have goats that they can feed, which is always fun for the kiddos, and we have games. We have tic-tac-toe boards, lots of places for photo ops, a fun cutouts that they can stand behind, take pictures, um, a little chicken coop that they can pretend to gather eggs if some of them have never been on a farm before. And of course we have pumpkins. We have, when you leave, you can pick up your pumpkin that you want to carve for your family and all the fall decor things that you may need. A visit to Scott County isn't complete without meeting the animals at Creation Kingdom Zoo. From primates and big cats to reptiles and birds, the staff care for rare and exotic animals from across the globe. Discover why Creation Kingdom is ranked one of Virginia's best zoos and see conservation at work in natural surroundings. Scott County has some of the most amazing mountain views and beautiful valleys that you'll find anywhere. So come explore the great outdoors with us. You'll find hiking and biking, camping, fishing, kayaking, boating, and so much more. And while you're here, see if you can spot all six of our famous swinging bridges. Bring your appetite to Teddy's Restaurant in Nicholsville where down-home comfort food is served in an old-timey setting. We're talking delicious home-cooked meals, hamburgers, french fries, shakes, desserts, and if it's ice cream you're craving, see if you're brave enough to try the Gut Buster. This 
is my longtime friend, Teddy Kilgore, owner of Teddy's Restaurant in Nicholsville. So Teddy, how long have you been in business here? 46 years. Some good, some not so good. <laughs> so Teddy, I have been coming to this restaurant my whole life. It feels like home to me. Honestly, it kind of feels like Mayberry. Can you talk a little bit about the atmosphere in here? Yes, I can. The atmosphere in here could go from uh, farmers that's going to put up hundreds of bales of hay or sell cattle the next day. All of this stuff has been discussed over and over and over in here. The boys, the girls that are on the basketball teams, all kinds of sports of all sorts, they all gather here before the game. All the parents come out. It's, it's a huge family. So I feel like you can't walk in here without noticing the famous wall back here. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, it's uh, some call it the Wall of Fame. <laughs> it's uh, it's just odds and ends of different people doing different things. The residents are no some of them no longer with us. Pictures of the old part of the town and when it was established. So what is in the gut buster? Well, actually, it's a combination of most everything we use in ice cream products, such as sundaes, uh, hot fudge cakes. Uh, all kinds of things that involve ice cream. More than enough for any one person, but we have had people eat it. And if they can eat it all, why it's free. So that's, that was the lure of winning the prize of being free. For stunning views, camping, and outdoor family fun, make sure you check out Natural Tunnel State Park near Duffield. Over the course of thousands of years, water running through a limestone ridge carved out the tunnel, and today it stands at over 10 stories tall and 850 feet long. Plus, you can take a chairlift to the bottom of the tunnel floor. I'm here with Robert Chapman, park manager at Natural Tunnel State Park. So Robert, what are people's reactions when they see the tunnel for the first time? The thing I see the most is, wow, this is incredible. And we get people from all over the world that come here to Natural Tunnel to see this amazing geological feature. Here at Natural Tunnel, we see over 200,000 people a year. And while they're here, not only do they come to see the Natural Tunnel, but we have lots of other activities for people to do. Hiking, biking, camping, cabins, a pool, a chairlift, you name it, we've got something for everyone to do. We offer wildflower walks in the spring. Uh, in the fall, we do a harvest festival. And in the wintertime, Christmas season, we do our Christmas lighting of the tunnel. Uh, and that attracts lots of people. So we're in a different part of the park now. And Robert, can you tell us a little bit about the building behind us? Sure. Uh, the building behind me is a replica of the John Anderson Blockhouse. Blockhouses were, were built for people to gather in numbers as they traveled westward along the Wilderness Trail. Another one-of-a-kind experience unique to our area is a stop by Powell's Sudden Service. The food is served in a flash in a bright blue building topped with a giant hamburger, fries, hot dog, and a drink. Welcome to Powell's. May I take your order? Well, this is my first time here, so what would you recommend? Fantastic. I would recommend a big pile of cheese, a Frenchie fry, and a peachy tea. All right, I'm sold. Absolutely. I will take a big pile of cheese, a Frenchie fry, and a peachy tea. That'll be seven dollars and forty-six cents. You can pay at the next window. Thanks. Thank you. Your total seven forty-six. Tea. Thank you, and you have a great day. Thank you. I'm here with Eric Lane, owner and operator of the iconic Pals in Gate City. So Eric, can you tell us how Pals got its start? Yeah, so Pals started in 1956. Uh, Pal Barger uh, was stationed in Texas uh, in the Air Force and got the idea from a restaurant there. And since then, we've uh, built 30 locations and we're continuing to grow. So Pals was also the first restaurant to win the Malcolm Ballridge National Quality Award, which is a pretty big deal. So can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so we started the process of the 
Malcolm Baldridge Award early on because we knew we wanted to improve and get better. So really what it helped us focus on is becoming a restaurant that has great quality food in a flash. Unwind from your trip to Southwest Virginia in a beautifully restored 1800s home at Estelville Bed and Breakfast. Conveniently located to all regional attractions, this inn offers up a cozy, comfortable stay, antiques, private bath, and a delicious hot breakfast. It is truly a home away from home. So Mark, can you tell us a little bit about the history of the house? Yes, the house was built in the mid-1880s, uh, built by the Darty family, and they resided here from the time it was built until the last family member was gone. So Mark, what can someone expect when they come and stay at the bed and breakfast? We like to pamper people, make them feel welcome to the bed and breakfast and welcome to the area, and uh, give them southern hospitality, and our goal is to let them leave with more than they expected. Mark, I am so impressed with this place. It is so cozy and charming. I can't wait to see the rest of it. Okay, just make yourself at home. locals do at the Front Porch Store and Deli in Fort Blackmore. I highly recommend their famous whitefish platter, which is a favorite among their loyal deli customers. Plus, the Front Porch doubles as a convenience store, and you can get anything from a fishing license to a pair of earrings, and they have some of the friendliest folks you'll ever meet. I'm here with Beverly Quillen, the owner of Front Porch Store and Deli in Fort Blackmore. So the front porch is kind of a staple in Fort Blackmore. So Beverly, tell me why people are coming here. Well, people come here because we have some really good food. And most importantly, because we're all so friendly and it's all about customer service. And I think that people come here because after you eat our food, whether it's our fish, whether it's a burger or whether it's salad, they come because everything is fresh, everything is made to order, and it's yummy. Everything is so good. The Devil's Bathtub is just right down the road. Have y'all had a lot of traffic and customers from that? Yes, we get a lot of customers from the bathtub. Um, a lot of customers will come down after they've been to the tub to come in and get some ice cream, get something cold to drink out of the store, um, or just come in and get a hamburger or whatever they want to eat. We do get a lot of customers from the bathtub. Scott County's most popular attraction is the Devil's Bathtub, an ideal spot for swimming, hiking, and photography. Each year, thousands of people hike past streams and waterfalls to visit the tub. And the legend is, the waters are so cold, they'd extinguish the devil himself. If you're looking for a home away from home when you're visiting Nicholsville, you should check out Happy Trails Cottage. You can set out on the back porch here and enjoy a fresh cup of coffee, watch the cows graze, and enjoy some good peace and quiet. I'm here with Eddie Skeen, owner of Happy Trails Cottage in Nicholsville. So Eddie, can you tell us how long you all been in business? We. Uh... Uh, we're open uh, last spring after a year of uh, remodeling and this was originally my parents home. Uh, my dad uh, traded two cows for the lumber and uh, his uncle helped him build it. So tell me about the people that are staying here. Where are they from and what are they saying about this place? We've had uh, guests from about every state on the East Coast. This week we have a couple from Florida that's in for a family reunion. Last Christmas we had a couple from Australia. So what are people saying about staying here at Happy Trails Cottage? We hear often the fact that we don't have street lights. That they enjoy the night sky. They like the rural area. Everybody's very friendly. 
the fact that we're remote but still close enough to the Bristol racetrack and several locations around the Tri-Cities. No visit to Scott County is complete without a Saturday night stop at the world-renowned Carter Family Fold, the true birthplace of country music. You'll find traditional acoustic bluegrass, dancing, and toe-tapping fun for the whole family at the legendary fold. I'm here with Rita Forrester, the executive director of the Carter Family Fold. So Rita, this is a world-renowned place. How did it even get started? Very humbly. Uh, my mother made my grandfather A.P. a promise in 1960 as he was dying that she would see that his music lived on. He was afraid that rock and roll was going to just obliterate this kind of music. And he said, I want people to know about our music and to know about what I did and accomplished. She, in 1974, after my brother and I finished school, she decided that she would start music shows in that little store. She had a lot of connections in music, and everybody thought she had lost her mind, that, that they're not gonna drive out to the country to hear music every Saturday night. So she started those shows, they lasted there for two years, and this was built in 76. And we've had everybody from Johnny Cash to Waylon Jennings to Freaky Skaggs, I mean, lots of John Paul Jones of Led Zeppelin. <laughs> it's That's awesome. a lot of incredible people. So what kind of music are people going to find at the Carter Family Fold? It will be acoustic primarily. Um, well, Johnny Cash was an exception. Marty Stewart was a, an exception once. Um, acoustic, old time and bluegrass music. Um, a lot of fiddle tunes, a lot of dance tunes, mountain music, gospel music, bluegrass. Uh, very traditional, not, not, what, not the new stuff, the older stuff. Yeah. So Rena, why is the Carter Family Fold so important to Scott County? Well, it is hard to find a musician that does not know who the Carter Family is. I don't care if they're rock, jazz, whoever it is, they've practiced a Carter Family song. The Carter Family laid the foundation for this type of music, and everybody is influenced by it, whether they realize it or not. Well, Rita, thank you so much for having us down and letting us get to talk with you and learn a little bit more about the Carter Family Fold. But now, let's get inside and do a little dancing. You absolutely should. <laughs> There is so much to do in Scott County. From beautiful mountain views to incredible outdoor adventures, music, festivals, history, and of course, really good places to eat. We're tucked in the far corner of Southwest Virginia in the heart of the Appalachian Mountains. So make plans to come and join us and see small town America at its best.